So here we have the all new 2025 Ford Explorer. Now this one comes in the ST line trim level with four wheel drive. And one of my favorite Ford colors, Vapor Blue. And then we have that Onyx ActiveX interior. Now for the powertrain, we get that carryover 2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. And that's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. So good news there, you have quite a bit of power, but you're also getting 20 miles per gallon city 27 highway so pretty excited about this when i started the chicago auto show and actually seeing it here in person it's really grown on me and it does help having this vapor blue we have our led daytime running lights led headlamps and led fog lights and i love the big massive blacked out grill here it just makes it look so sporty very very impressive now as we come around to the wheels here pretty similar to what we're used to on fords these are 20 inch aluminum And a lot of stuff carries over from the 24 model, other than the slight refresh. ST line badging in the same spot. The wheels are similar. The door panel's pretty similar. Power door lock controls. We have one touch automatic up and down windows for the front, regular power windows for the back. And then we do have our power mirror controls here. And then we have our rear window lock there. Good storage here, bottle holder. I do like this design here. I don't feel like this was in the last year model, but I could be wrong, but that kind of stuck out to me. Now we do have that lever pull twice to get the hood to open so we don't have to fool with the, the latch underneath. Headlamp controls are here, fog light controls, power lift gate there. We do get the B&O sound system here. And I like how they redid the dash and whatnot. And we'll get to that a little later. But here's the power driver seat with two-way power lumbar support. And also just like the design, it feels like a beefier, meatier seat. And I like that because I feel like it can fit a wider person, but We'll definitely check that out when I sit in the driver's seat. But a big thank you to Ford Lincoln of Franklin for allowing me to review this Explorer today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you're looking to find the best price on one in your area, click on that link down below. It takes about a minute or two to fill out that questionnaire and then we'll get the dealers in your area fighting to get you that best price on one of these. But I like the use of the door handle here as well. Plenty of room to hold your kids' bottles that are left in the car so they're not all over the floor. Seat back pockets are on both sides. Make sure the seat's all the way back. I'm gonna test out this leg room. Now I won't be able to test out the third row. I sprained my ankle, so I'm trying to go easy on it. But the space is good and I like how you sit up higher in this vehicle. And even with the twin panel moonroof, which is I think the one or maybe the one of two options that are on this one, I still have pretty good headroom like the rear ac controls and i like how they have explorer right there two usb-c charge ports a 12 volt and then again we can control the air direction temperature fan speed and then we have a little fold down small bottle holder there so plenty of storage again for your drinks and there's a view of the front from back here And there's a look at the third seat. And you do get two USB-C ports on this right side, a bottle holder, a little storage. And then on this left side, you don't have the USBs, but you do have the bottle holder and then the, the storage there. And then our fans up top there. But I like the big hanger holder here. So we can hang several plastic or metal hanger hooks if we decide to do that. Now this vehicle is assembled in Chicago, Illinois. And then engine transmission, you can see the country of origin there. So 43% American or Canadian, 17% Mexican. And then the rest of it, you know, who's to say? Fuel filler. And as we come around to the back end, this is one of my favorite parts about it. Other than the front fascia, it's just seeing the, the new tail lamp design. And it looks very similar to the old Explorer or to the outgoing Explorer, but it also has its own flair to it, I think. It's very impressive. So this does come with all weather formats, this one in particular. And then you can still see pretty good storage behind even the third row with it up. 
and then you can also just fold it down when you fold that down have even more space so it's kind of hard to tell with the mats in the way but pretty good space here and there's a 12 volt right back in there so tons of power outlets for you whether you're wanting to use an inverter or just a regular usb to charge your phone whatever a tow hitch is there and there's our exhaust system i'm just going to take a quick look at the the roof so you can see that if you're curious and then you can hit this to fold the seat flat and then top tethers for the car seats are there you can hit this to do it from the back as well or from the front and then lock it back into place lower lat lower latch anchors are right there excuse me now it'll be kind of hard to see through this tent but sticker price of this one is fifty thousand three hundred and sixty bucks and like i said only a few options the vapor blue is an option the twin panel moonroof and then there's a first aid kit in this one Now, I do like that we have a front passenger seat that's powered with two-way power lumbar. Especially if you have a, a passenger princess or what have you with you. Often, it's one less thing they'll complain about. Side pockets, lockable glove compartment, pretty good space in here. And then as we come back around to the front, just a quick look in the engine bay. There's that 2.3 liter turbo four. And again, I apologize that this is taking me a little longer than expected. Again, I'm over here with a, a bum ankle. So it just takes me a, a bit longer to get around. But I love the, the wrap steering wheel here. Feels very sporty and the look is very nice as well. Horn sound there. Now over here to this new screen, I actually like how they put all the AC controls in it this year. I like having the, the landscape radio screen as well. So pretty easy to pull up. Heated steering wheel, heated seats. We get those for both the driver and front passenger and you can set that to auto if you so choose. And then we can set our temperatures down here below. We have a bunch of shortcuts including the automatic climate control or we can get nitty gritty hit that right there we can sync and unsync the system decide the airflow and all of that cut the system off and then click here and you can see your rear controls there so i like how that's set up very easy to use for it to be on the screen am fm xm bluetooth audio we have our google system here like we've seen in the newer gms not a big fan of that, but we do still get the wireless CarPlay and Android Auto here. And then our settings, software updates, all that's right in here. And if you wanna fool with the settings, go in the system, you can change your languages, your units, and all of that there. Vehicle settings, so on and so forth. So quite a bit you can fool with there, if you ever wanna do that. Now for the backup camera, pretty big picture. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And I love having the bird's eye view and I have a Mustang Mach-E. These are so crucial if you wanna just get that perfect parking position without getting out of the car and checking the lines because it'll actually tell you, hey, you're in the lines here or you're crooked or whatever. So I love having that. We also have a front camera as well and we can activate that by hitting this button down here. But volume knob is here, click that to mute. And then we have auto stop toggle. You can pull out the parking chimes there, hazards, front camera again, traction control, automatic brake hold. I like the storage compartment here. It's nice and big and I like that it's kind of in front of you, but it's also not intruding on anything like your leg room or anything like that. Now down below here, hidden storage is a USB-C, USB-A charge duo, 12 volt, tons of storage in there. And then you can stow that away. Bottle holders are here. For the shifter, we do get the rotary knob, so you just turn, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you can hit that L for the low gear. Electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down to disengage, and then we have our drive modes here. 
And you get a nice animation in the gauge cluster. So eco, sport, tow haul, normal, slippery, and then we have our off-road mode there. With this being a four-wheel drive vehicle, it's pretty handy to have that. Center console, cubby space, two more USB-C charge ports. The universal home remote's here. Vanity mirror's there. And then we do have the sunroof controls, and this is for the shade, so you can see that's what that looks like when it's retracted, or I should say when it's up, and then when it's retracted, you can see the roof there. Sunglasses holder. Especially on a hot day like today, it's nice to have that sunshade, trust me. There's a look at the back seat from up here. But just a quick run through of what's behind the steering wheel. Blinkers, high beams, and then we do have our wipers here, so intermittent can be controlled there. And then we have one time off, intermittent low, high, and then we have our rear wiper there. Now to the steering wheel itself, adaptive cruiser on this one, so you can cancel that, the lane keeping system, the gap adjust for the adaptive cruise, set the speed, volume, mute. And then over here, voice recognition, the Bluetooth controls or trackless radio station presets, depending on what menu you're in. And then we can control the menu there and use this as a scroll bar and the back button as well to go through all of that. So we can change the views, so on and so forth, including tire pressure sensors and then our fuel economy trip monitor. So, I mean, a pretty, pretty well-equipped vehicle. It is 50 grand, but still looks good. It has power, but we're gonna test that out right now. Let's go ahead and take this 2025 Ford Explorer ST line out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this 25 Explorer, I really like how high you sit up the power you get from the motor, just the pull from the transmission and all that, it's just very, very, I guess, tame. So I'm saying that to say like, it has the power when you need it, but it also is very calm when you're not needing to give it full throttle. Just an overall good powertrain here, and I think that's why they've kept the the 2.3 in here so long with the 10 speed. But I mean, it's also in other applications as well, including the Ranger. And I'm assuming that this is through the speakers or whatever, but I love the, the rumble you get when you kind of put your foot down just a tad in sport mode. Because it is just, it's fun. Now, I will say, kind of like the sport mode in the Mach-E that I have, I like that you can drive this normally without necessarily burning so much gas. You just kind of have to be careful with your foot, but you also always have that full amount of power when you need it if you do want to put your foot down for whatever reason. And overall, so far, the sound acoustics in here have been fantastic. Even with louder cars beside me, it hasn't really intruded on the space I have here. And even with the 20 inch wheels, road noise, pretty minimal so far. We'll test it out to the fullest extent when we get on the interstate here momentarily. Now with this being such a slight refresh, which I guess is not really slight based on the interior and exterior, but just not anything crazy going on here, this is a very impressive SUV in my opinion. Let's give it a pull here. So can't do too much, the vehicle in front of me is not really going, but I mean, just that pull from 20 to about 50 was fantastic. And again, this is the, the stock engine choice here. It's a 2.3 turbo four. But we have the blue cruise on now. Gonna adjust the gap back.
but I mean for 50 grand, which is basically what vehicles like these are running for, I feel like it's a little high to not have cooled seats, leather, navigation, and all of that compared to maybe a Hyundai option or a Toyota option, but this is a very nice package here. I like the Blue Cruise, still fantastic having the moon roof, all the amenities. The overall space in here is good for this to be a step below the Expedition. And it's just, it does it for me. But another big thank you to Ford Lincoln of Franklin for letting me review this vehicle today. And then if you're looking to get one of these in your area, just make sure you click on that link below and fill out that info and we'll get you the best price in the area. But other than that, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2025 Ford Explorer ST line.